You probably think that you know how expensive VR headsets can get. The Apple Vision Pro was 3,500, the Quest Pro was 1,500, and that feels like it should be at the top of the market, but there's a whole level of VR that almost nobody talks about. These are headsets built for fighter pilots and NASA engineers, and their price tags are on another plane of existence. When I started researching for this video, I was, I was blown away, I was shocked. Today on Fix My Oculus, we are counting down the eight most expensive VR headsets ever made. And by the time we get to number one, you might actually be glad that you only paid a few hundred dollars for your headset. Before we get started, let me explain a little bit about the rules for this list. I did do quite a bit of research for this video, and these headsets I found, I, I feel like they truly belong here. I'm including some headsets that aren't strictly VR in the consumer sense. Some are mixed reality devices with pass-through features and AR overlays, but for all intents and purposes, they function as VR headsets, so I think that they deserve to be on this list. And one quick reminder before we get into the countdown, we are giving away the brand new Xbox edition Quest 3S. Not this one, I've already taken this one apart, but we've got another one. The giveaway does end today at midnight, so you still have time to enter. And if you've not entered yet, definitely check the link in the description. All right, let's start this countdown. So at number eight on the list, we start with a headset that blurs the line between AR and VR, the Magic Leap 2. When the Magic Leap first launched, they pitched themselves as the company that would bring AR into our daily lives. Billions of dollars later, the dream kind of shifted and Magic Leap pivoted toward more enterprise-focused headsets. The Magic Leap 2 starts at $3,299 for the base model, but the developer pro and enterprise versions pushed the price up to $4,999. Considering that it launched in 2022, this is still pretty recent pricing. Even so, it shows how quickly costs climb once you move into enterprise territory. Coming in at number seven, you know the Apple Vision Pro had to make this list. When Apple first launched this headset at $3,499, it it shocked people. I know it shocked me. Most consumer headsets at the time were in like the five to $1,000 range. So seeing a headset at $3,499 for a consumer device felt Unreal. And this was the base price for the 256 gigabyte model. The higher storage options pushed this cost closer to $4,000. But even with that said, Apple's price tag doesn't really hold a candle to the other things on this list. At number six, we have the Vario VR3. Vario, Varo, Varho. Vario is a name that you're gonna hear more than once in this video. The VR3 is one of their enterprise grade VR headsets. It's built for engineers, pilots, and really, really high-end simulators. It's Bionic display has resolution so sharp that you can read fine print from meters away. And at $3,195 for this headset alone, it is already expensive, but you also had to buy the mandatory subscription plan for about $795 a year to unlock its full functionality. If you adjust the 2020 launch price for inflation, that $3,195 is closer to $3,900 today, and that's before the subscription. Now coming in at number five, we have the Star VR One. The Star VR One has almost become a bit of a myth in the VR world. Its claim to fame was its 210 degree field of view, wider than the human eye. And even by today's standards, that's a level of immersion that other headsets just couldn't match. It cost $3,200 when it launched in 2018, but when you factor in a few years of inflation, that figures out to about $4,000 today. You also just couldn't pick one up from a store. You had to apply to be part of their developer program, which made it super rare then, and it's even more rare now. Coming in at number four, we have the Sony Zen. Sony Zen headset is a brand new entry into the enterprise mixed reality market. It's priced at four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and it's designed for spatial content creation like AutoCAD design and it's already being used actually by companies like Siemens. Shipping began in February of 2025 and it shows that Sony is kind of quietly stepping into the high-end industrial side of XR and the price even though almost five thousand dollars seems crazy for a VR headset only puts it squarely in the mid-range of this list. Coming in at number three, we have the Vario XR1 Developer Edition. Now this is where prices 
really start to take off. The Vario XR1 Developer Edition was the company's first true mixed reality headset. It combined human eye resolution displays with dual pass-through cameras to blend real and virtual worlds in real time. It launched at $9,995 in 2019. That is equivalent to approximately $12,000 $574 in today's dollars. That's that's wild. And here's the other thing, buyers also had to pay another $1,000 a year for the service contract. So if you had purchased one of these in 2019, you would have spent an extra $6,000 at this point just to own it. Now this headset was never meant for hobbyists. It was for research labs and design firms, but it's still a crazy price to pay for a VR headset. Coming in at number two, we have the Xdoll 3. This is the headset of choice for fighter pilot training. It has an 8K display, an ultra wide 180 degree field of view, and eye tracking so advanced, it can measure pupil dilation during stress tests. The mixed reality version of this headset starts at $11,500, while the simpler VR only version only comes in at about $8,900. And when you factor in the special military configurations, training software, and contracts, that $11,500 price point is really just the starting point for this headset. Now, before we get to number one on the list, I do have a few honorable mentions that didn't quite make the main countdown, but I think they still deserve a little recognition. The VPL iPhone from 1989, iPhone, not iPhone. It was originally priced at $9,400 or $24,600 today. It was used by NASA in the late 1980s and it cost as much as a car back then. My other honorable mention is the Virtuality 1000CS from 1991, which sold for about $50,000 or $118,000 today. But this wasn't just a VR headset. It was like a full VR arcade pod from the early 90s. And if you played VR in an arcade back then, this might've been what you played with. But even for the price of a big VR pod, $118,000 just seems like a lot of money. And here it is, number one, the Canon MReal MD10. This headset launched around 2016 for about $82,000. Earlier reports for older MREAL systems sometimes quoted up to $125,000 for the prototypes and bundles, which is where some of the higher figures you'll see come from. But for the MD10 specifically, the confirmed price was closer to $82,000. This headset was not made for gamers. It was built for industrial design, aerospace and defense, and buyers of the headset often added accessories and software packages that made the total investment even higher. But even without software and accessories and upgrades, it is still by far the most expensive headset on this list. And it makes the Apple Vision Pro look like a toy in comparison. So there you have it, the eight most expensive VR headsets ever made from the cheap $3,000 consumer devices all the way up to Canon's $82,000 industrial monster. Which one surprised you the most? And did you know about any of these before today? Or are you now just kind of wondering if someone out there actually is wearing an $82,000 headset on their head? Because I know I am. Definitely drop me your thoughts in the comments below. And if you feel like I missed a headset, Drop that in the comments too. As always, I wanna hear what you guys think and I kinda of wanna know if I missed anything that should have been on this list. Do not forget to enter into our competition for the Xbox Quest 3S. It ends tonight. The link to enter is in the description and you do not want to miss it. If you liked this video, definitely smash that like button. It really does help us out. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? We have more VR repair videos, deep dives, and countdowns on the way, so subscribe if you have not yet already. But that's really all I got for you guys today, so we will see you on the next one.